Um, and I remember the first time the Lord spoke to me, we, we cleaned a, a church called McGregor Baptist. And the Lord spoke to me when I was the crew leader. And he says, I want you to clean the toilets. And I'm like, I'm the crew leader now. Why would I clean the toilets? And it wouldn't leave me alone. Like, I just kept feeling the auntie. It wasn't like God's voice. You need to clean the toilets. It was an auntie that was like, I want you to clean the toilets. Don't pick, Which I is God's you. voice. Right. I want you to. And I'm like, I don't want to. I want you to. Long story short, I'm cleaning the toilets. And I remember talking to, you know, as I'm cleaning the toilet, how is this ministry? How is me cleaning this toilet ministry? And this is how you know it's the Lord, because I can't think. I'm not smart enough to think like this. He said, what if someone comes to this church for the first time and I need to hear a word that I gave that pastor? And they come into this bathroom and it's disgusting. Two things are going to happen. They're either going to leave and go to another place to use the bathroom, or they're going to be so disgusted in the bathroom that when they sit down to hear the preacher, all they're going to think about is that bathroom. So I want you to clean this like Jesus was sitting on it. So when they go to this bathroom, all they can think about is getting back to hear that word. And I said, Good. boom, wow. So there is importance. I am doing an important work right now by cleaning this toilet. But in that, again, men that were about that life or about wanting to let God change their life spotted that in me like, Dude's cleaning the toilets and there's no staff around here to see him do it. It's not like the staff are here watching him clean the toilet. He's doing it on his own. So I had those people that they, they, they believed what I said and why I did it. So that was my very first uh, understanding of leadership uh, in, in, a, in a kingdom uh, realm and, and kingdom principles. Um, today, I, I, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was just, it reminds me of David. You know, God, God did not appoint David king after he slayed Goliath. God appointed him king because he saw his heart and how he shepherded those sheep up in the field when nobody was around, nobody cared. Nobody was watching. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. He was up there tending those sheep. He took that position, stewarding theme that's coming up a lot in our short conversation thus far. Yeah. He stewarded that so intensely that it's like one of the craziest stories in the Bible. I feel like people don't talk about. He killed a lion and a bear, a little teenage boy with his bare hands. Yeah. yeah. We just gloss over that because it just kind of. It doesn't tell the story when it happened, but we know it happened because we he yeah. said it and it's in there. Yeah. No, dude, that's like one of the craziest stories in the whole Bible to me. Yeah. But he took it so serious that he, I mean, who's going to really get mad at a little teenage boy that let one sheep go because a lion came and snatched it? I mean, how right. could you really get mad at that? But he's right. like, not on my watch. And he chased it down know. and killed him, man. I mean, so yeah. it just reminds me of that, that it's like, that's when God saw his heart 